late-night eating has been blamed for weight gain for years. At least, that's what most people have been told. But if it were really that simple, why do some people eat late and stay lean, while others barely eat at night and still gain belly fat? The problem isn't the clock itself. It's how your body handles energy once the day winds down. Your body doesn't just count calories. It runs on a biological clock. During the day, hormones are optimized to process food, use energy, and recover from activity at night. That system shifts toward rest, repair, and preparation for the next day. Eating late doesn't automatically turn food into fat, but your body's response depends entirely on the context you place it in. If you eat late after a day of adequate sleep, regular movement, stable insulin, and low stress, the impact may be far smaller than you expect. But when late night eating combines with poor sleep, high stress, and a meal rich in refined carbohydrates, the story changes completely. Insulin rises more easily, cortisol fails to come down, and your body reads the situation as metabolic chaos. In that state, fat becomes easier to store, especially around the abdomen. What most people get wrong is blaming late night eating itself, when the real issue is the interaction between timing, food quality, and your hormonal state at that moment. Total daily calories still matter, but your biological clock decides whether those calories are used or stored. So the real question isn't whether late night eating makes you fat. It's under which conditions eating late is relatively harmless and under which conditions it flips the switch on belly fat storage. To understand why late night eating sometimes doesn't make you gain fat, but in many cases becomes extremely damaging to belly fat. You need to separate two concepts. Most people mix together total daily calories and your circadian rhythm. From a purely mathematical perspective, weight tends to decrease when energy intake is lower than energy expenditure. But biology is not just math. The timing of your meals determines which hormones are activated and hormones not calorie calculators tell the body whether to burn or store energy. During the day, especially in the morning and early afternoon, insulin sensitivity is higher. This means carbohydrates are more easily shuttled into muscles and the liver for immediate use. As evening approaches, your circadian rhythm begins shifting the body toward rest. Melatonin rises in preparation for sleep, and at the same time, insulin sensitivity declines. When you eat late in this hormonal environment each the same meal triggers a very different metabolic response than it would earlier in the day. If a late meal is small, protein-focused, low in sugar, and followed by adequate sleep, the negative impact can be minimal. The body can still process that energy without aggressively storing it as fat. This explains why some people eat late yet remain lean. They are not eating in a hormonally chaotic state and their meals do not strongly spike insulin. Problems arise when late night eating is combined with sleep deprivation. Staying up late disrupts melatonin and cortisol fails to drop as it should. Elevated nighttime cortisol is a red flag for the body. It signals stress and under stress. The body prioritizes energy storage. If you then add a meal high in refined carbohydrates, insulin spikes while cortisol remains elevated. This combination is almost a perfect recipe for belly fat storage. Lack of sleep also increases ghrelin, the hunger hormone, while lowering leptin, the hormone that signals fullness. This makes you not only eat late, but eat more than you realize. Total daily calories creep upward, even when you believe you're eating lightly. When this pattern repeats, fat gain isn't caused by one late meal, but by a sustained hormonal environment that favors storage. The key takeaway is that late night eating is not an automatic villain. It becomes harmful when it disrupts your biological clock and causes insulin and cortisol to overlap at the wrong time. When that happens, the body has little choice but to store energy, particularly in the abdominal region, which is most sensitive to stress hormones. Once you understand this distinction, 
you stop fearing the clock itself. Instead, you learn when eating late is relatively low risk and when it quietly becomes one of the main reasons belly fat is so difficult to lose. When it comes to late night eating, the most important question isn't whether you eat late, but the biological state you're in when you do. The body responds very differently to a late meal after a well-regulated day. Compared to eating late while exhausted, stressed, and sleep deprived, this underlying state determines whether energy is used or stored as fat. In relatively low risk scenarios, late night eating usually occurred under three conditions. First, the circadian rhythm is still respected. You don't stay up excessively late. Your sleep schedule isn't completely disrupted and you still get restorative sleep after the meal. Second, the late meal does not aggressively spike insulin. It tends to be protein focused, possibly with some fat and low in sugar and refined starches. Third, stress levels during the day are manageable, allowing cortisol to come down before eating. When these factors align, the body can process energy without switching into fat storage mode. Late night eating becomes highly damaging in the opposite scenario. You stay up late due to work or stimulation, keeping the nervous system in a constantly activated state. Sleep is short or fragmented. Cortisol remains elevated into the night and the late meal is rich in refined carbohydrates such as sweets, noodles, fast food, or sugary drinks. In this context, insulin rises while cortisol stays high. This hormonal overlap sends a clear message to the body the environment is unsafe. Store energy. When this signal repeats several times per week, fat not only accumulates, but concentrates around the abdomen. The belly is particularly sensitive to cortisol, as it's the area the body prioritizes for protection under chronic stress. Many people assume they gain fat because they eat late, when the real issue is eating late within a hormonal environment that favors storage. Another critical factor is how late night eating blurs the line between biological hunger and stress-driven appetite. When you're tired, sleep deprived and stressed cravings no longer reflect true energy needs they're a nervous system response seeking comfort eating in this state easily overshoots actual requirements even if portions don't appear large this explains why many people feel they don't eat much but still gain fat the issue isn't individual meals but the absence of true fat burning windows when days consistently end with stressed sleep-deprived, late-night eating, the circadian rhythm erodes and the body loses its ability to shift into fat utilization mode. Rather than banning late-night eating outright, the smarter approach is to view the full picture when late eating is simply a delayed meal within an otherwise balanced day and when it's a symptom of a lifestyle that continuously pushes metabolism towards storage. Once you can distinguish between the two, you know exactly where to intervene to stop belly fat from accumulating quietly. The most important thing to understand about late night eating is not finding a rigid rule, but learning how to adjust so your body is not pushed into fat storage mode. When eating late is unavoidable, there are still ways to minimize its metabolic impact. The issue is not the clock itself, but the biological signals the late meal sends. One of the most effective strategies is keeping late meals simple and easy to process. When food does not cause sharp blood sugar swings, the body is less likely to release high insulin at a sensitive time. Protein helps stabilize hunger hormones, while fat provides energy with minimal insulin stimulation compared to refined carbohydrates. This combination reduces the likelihood of triggering emergency fat storage. The timing of when you finish eating also matters. Eating right before bed causes digestion to overlap with the body's transition into recovery mode. This disrupts sleep and keeps cortisol elevated while insulin remains harder to lower. In contrast, allowing even a short buffer before sleep gives the body time to process energy before sleep hormones take over. That difference alone can determine whether fat is stored or not. 
how you wind down in the evening plays a major role as well. Bright lights, screens, and prolonged mental stimulation keep the nervous system alert. In that state, late night eating almost always coincides with elevated insulin and cortisol. But when evenings are calmer, lighting is low, and relaxation is prioritized, the body responds very differently to the same meal. Consistency is another factor many people overlook. Occasional late meals within an otherwise balanced week are not the same as eating late every night under chronic stress. The body can tolerate rare deviations, but it reacts strongly to repeated signals. When late night eating becomes a habitual pattern, paired with poor sleep and high stress, metabolism gradually shifts towards storage. This brings us back to the original question, does late night eating really make you fat? The answer is not a simple yes or no. It depends on the context in which you eat late, the type of food you choose, and the biological state your body is in at that moment. When these variables are managed, late night eating is not necessarily harmful. When they are ignored, it quietly becomes a switch that turns on belly fat storage over time. Understanding this frees you from fearing the clock and redirects your focus to what truly matters, creating a daily rhythm that makes your body feel safe, stable, and ready to use energy rather than store it. If you've ever worried that eating late automatically ruins your fat loss efforts, remember this, your body responds to signals, not just the clock. When your circadian rhythm is stable, stress is managed, sleep is protected, and food choices are appropriate. Late night eating isn't necessarily the enemy. What matters is the full picture, not a single habit. If you'd like me to share the least harmful ways to eat late or how to structure your daily rhythm to prevent silent belly fat gain, leave a comment below and subscribe so you don't miss the next videos.